and then there's three intuitions. Like, I'm not even... I guess that's kind of good. What I'm doing right now is... I'm not looking at... Oh, there's a weird so I'm not looking at... How to solve the puzzles. I'm just looking at the items I can pick up. Because that's the main problem with... Puzzle games. Or like, you know, not puzzle games. Adventure games for me, I think, is that... Um... You don't know... Like, if you can just kind of miss items, and then puzzles will make no sense. And you don't realize you're missing an item. And so you spend ages and ages going through every single room, looking in every corner to find these items. No, oh, shut up! And in this game, you can't do that, because there's crazy things going on, and you lose sanity if you just keep walking around looking for things. So it, it's kind of it, it's kind of self-defeating. I can't say. Um... Hate towards Anna, so if we wear the mask here, we did this last time. Mask of the Assassin. You're not different to me. Um, me as the Sabbath Maker, yeah. Um, hate towards Anna. You're not different from me. Copper Age. Uh, we didn't get that last time. These are intuitions I'm talking about. Just the Copper Age intuition. And then... Hate Towards Anna intuition. Which... Let me just take off the mask, put on the other one. Um... Where is it? Where is it? Here it is. Face of Truth. That gives us footprints going to there, but doesn't give us any new intuitions. I think we might need to read the books. Alright, let's take that off and read the books. Um, okay. Where are the books? So we have the beauty she shot. Let me just read every single one, just to make sure I've read all of them. And by read, I mean just kind of flick through them so the game registers the books as read. Not actually read them in detail, because we have already previously. Ah. Uh, no, we haven't read this. We haven't read this. Okay, let's read this one. The hero passed beyond the monster's jaws and found the enchanted castle, as the sorceress has foreseen. A castle with mountain-like walls made of sparkling stone and smooth as an assassin's blade. Clouds covered its towers and the giant front portal was adorned by terrible gold tusks. The hero grabbed the door's knocker, a silver circle between the jaws of the golden lion of a golden line, and struck the lead plate with all his might for three times. Its jaws quivered, and the lion rumbled, but it did not relish relinquish the ring. Who dares disturb my sleep? It is I, and I command thee to let me pass. The brave hero replied, uh, Dare put your hands between my tusks and release this ring from my mouth. Only then will I reveal thee the lock. Why don't you just open your mouth? I cannot allow it to fall. The hero took the ring from the tremendous lion's mouth and realized that it was a magnificent crown adorned with gems. Put it on your head. Only then can I obey you. Thus the hero placed the crown on his head and ordered, Lion, reveal the lock. And so the lion's head leapt down from the portal and the hero watched as the entire body followed it. Cool. A magic spell had trapped within the portal the magnificent beast, large as a bull, and bright silver and a bright silver sword stretched between two golden chains was revealed behind it. The lion said, "Only the blood of the brave can grease this sword and unprison it from the from these bolts." And so he clawed the hero, whose chest started to bleed. The hero smeared his hands in his own blood. 
and greased the sword with it. The sword slipped from its hinges, but did not let itself be caught. It said, Only the bracelets of power can bend me. And thus the hero removed the bolts from the door, and he could see that they were two heavy golden cuffs that fitted him perfectly. He placed them on his wrists and grabbed the sword. Then with the sword in his hands and the crown on his head, he struck the door three times, ordering it to open in the name of its master. The hinges turned, the gigantic portal opened wide, and the proud lion bent his paw, saying, Please, my lord, my back is at your service. I don't know how that helps, but okay, we read a story. Awesome. Uh, rituals of Our Lady. Yes, we read that. Okay, journal entry. About masks. Cool, we read that as well. Of love and pagan something. Yep, read that. So these are going into the journal. I should probably read the journal. Because these are important. Okay, intuition is... Hate towards Anna and Copper Age. Okay, we've got all the intuitions we need. Invisible world. Alright. Let me just read my journal. What have we found? Uh... I never thought I could hate an inanimate object so much, but that thing, that imitation of a woman, that foul piece of wood has awoken in me an inexplicable repulsion. Okay, so for some reason this guy hates that statue, even though I think it's kind of awesome. Um, Anna isn't here, I don't know how to explain it, I can feel her presence with every step. I can hear her behind every door, yet she is not here. She's been trying to drive me away since the moment I entered and I don't know why. I've spent nights upon nights dreaming about this very moment. I offered my own blood to meet her again, yet now she scorns me. I've burnt a pulsating wooden heart. Maybe I'm just dreaming, maybe I've just gone completely insane. Would it make any sense to give up now? I just heard some footsteps upstairs, I must find a way to get up there. Just found a letter laid out on the table. It seems as though I'm not the first one who was intent on finding you, Anna. I must find the book mentioned in the letter and figure out what the temple it's referring to. A temple here, absurd. I have to get into the artisan's room and retrieve this book. Alright, we've, we've done that. Since I entered this place, I've seen, heard, and felt many incredible things. Yet I still find documents that amaze me. According to this tome, if a special candle is lit next to a particular p magic symbol, the wax produced have the properties of a woman's blood, and therefore could be used to perform certain ceremonies. Until today I have never would have believed in such folklore, but after being dragged into this nightmare I have seriously started to trust in it. I found some documents reporting information about marriage customs in a very ancient cult. It's extremely detailed and full of images. The most interesting bit is the name men used to address the mother goddess, Anna. If I ever manage to escape this house, I'll have plenty to te teach to my students back at the university. Maybe it doesn't matter anymore. A strange witch rule is described in the book I found in the servant maker's room. It seems that if I want to see Anna again, I might, I must recreate her figure seated on a chair using some clothes and her visage. After that, I must gather the blood of the Tree of Life into a Grolla mug and then pour it on her lips. The author insists on highlighting the danger of this whole course of action. Okay, so the journal does tell you in more detail what you need to do. But I kind of need the walkthrough to find all the items without going insane. I can't believe this game. Um, okay, save the game. Making progress with the help of a walkthrough. I don't like it. I don't like using walkthroughs, but here we go. Okay, back downstairs. I just saved the game, right? Just saved the game. Okay, let's see if we... Let's see if there's any benefit to looking at that screaming guy in that other room. Is he gonna scream again? Come on, scream again. Scream for me. No? Okay, good. Come in, we look at it. Oh god, there's blood everywhere. <gasps> eh. 
and and what? Like you do that, and you don't lose sanity. You don't lose sanity for that. Why? I don't. This makes no. Why? Like the sanity mechanics makes no sense. It adds nothing to the game. Oh, the woman again. It adds nothing to the game except frustration. All right, going back downstairs. Oh, there's the woman over there. We're gonna avoid her. Even though I really don't have anything against her, but this character does. All right. Yes, the room's changed. Yes, it has. Can't even tell if we're in the same house. It's the same house. It's the same shape. What happened to the outside world? Who cares? Who cares about the outside world? We're in here. We have Anna to keep us company. Everything's gonna be just fine. Alright. So there's tablets. There's five tablets. Uh, stuck on stuff. Paddle? Well, puddle. My bad. Puddle doesn't do anything. Let's go around and grab all the items we can. So there's that. Right. Broken table. There's nothing in there. That's new. See, like that random, re randomly lose sanity. Look at that. You literally just randomly lose sanity. Nothing you can do about it. As the player. Ah, it's just. No, man, I don't agree. I don't agree. It's a bad mechanic. Okay, we got intuition from that. Good. Black figure. And you, like, you need to be here to get that intuition, and you lose sanity for it. Like, I mean, are, you, are we making progress when we lose sanity, or are we not making progress when we lose sanity? Like, it's just not consistent. I know it's a horror game, I know it's supposed to be weird and wacky, but not not to the point where it just kind of kicks you out of the game for losing too much sanity, and you don't even know why. Alright, let's get Ashes of the Heart. Oh wait, apparently we don't need that. The walkthrough says we don't actually need that. <laughs> oh well, we picked it up. Uh, the crepit boards, they're back in the same place. Although I can't pick them up anymore. So there's more tablets... here. Do we really want to go in there when they're screaming? Stockroom door. We've got a tablet. We need... Uh, right, okay. I'm half looking at the walkthrough. The woman... Okay, the woman's not here. Let me just grab this. And make sure we kind of read it. Yep, alright, good. Oh, that's new. That's a journal entry. Hold on, let me just just look at the journal entry. According to one of the texts I've read, members of Anna's cult who were in mourning used to sprinkle ashes on their heads obtained from the combustion of peculiar, peculiar elements. It is said that one must burn the symbols of loss and signs of renovation in a container along with some fuel. Burn the symbols of loss and signs of renovation in the container along with some fuel. Uh, burnt symbols of loss, signs of reno renovation. Um, okay. Okay, and we'll come back to this. We will put the uh, candle there fairly soon. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Okay, let's just go with the walkthrough. I don't even. I don't even care too much about 
trying to figure this stuff out. It's just so obtuse. So we've done this part before too. We um, sharpened the blade. Uh, where's my whetstone? Here it is. Whetstone. And blade. Yes, alright, sharpen it. And the whetstone just disappears, alright. The amazing disappearing whetstone. Pyrexoric Venus. And then we stick it with the um, with this. Smash it. Oh wait, no, no, we don't smash it. Uh, we tool it. All right, and then we get the pearl from inside. And here, if you remember, we put the knife back. Now that we've sharpened it. Hot blade, heavy knife hilt. Sharp is new now. I'm pretty sure we tried this last time. Maybe I clicked on the wrong thing. I I tried to break the head off the mask with this last time. See, nothing happens if you use the knife hilt. You have to use the hot blade. Ah! Separate the mask. Like, why? Like you click on one half of the thing, it doesn't work. You have to click on the other half to make it work. No, no, don't look at her. 